Hey team, it's uh, Tom here with Oaken Spore. Thought I'd give you guys a wee update on the um, LED strip lighting I've chosen for my fruiting chamber. Um, it took me a while to decide on this. I chose it, uh, obviously a lot of people use the LED strip lighting. Um, this is the, 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 the cool white colour, which is I think about 6000 to 6500K. Um, and it's IP68, which means it's totally waterproof. You need IP67 and IP65. Um, which is also splash proof, but I figure because it's in such a high humidity environment I wanted the total the total waterproof. So it's actually got a um a rubber a rubber casing over it filled with like a silicon gel. So it keeps it prevents any water from ingressing in there. I don't think that'll be a problem during the day when the lights are on, because if it generates any heat it's gonna prevent uh, moisture condensating on it, but at night, especially because it's on an aluminium bracket, it may um it may, may build up a bit of condensation around the strips. So that's why I didn't go for IP67, which is only splash proof. I'm just doing the um, soldering now, so I'll wire that in. These will all be wired out to a control panel, which we've got up here. Um, that'll have all my humidity controls in it, um, and the controls for the lighting in the room. Um, doing reasonably well for the room, as you can see, it's, um, it's looking pretty good. Um, I still need to decide what I'm going to do with the concrete floor. Um, I don't have a drain in here, so I don't know where water's going to pull exactly. But as for the lighting, we've got two, well, it'll be five metres, two five metre strips total, which will give me about, I think I figured out about 20,000 lumens, which is 12, roughly 12 metres of floor space. So I think it worked out to be about 800 lux per metre of floor space. Whether or not that's sufficient for, for growing, I don't know because we're not growing on a two-dimensional plane, which is the floor, we're growing in a three-dimensional area. So um, fr from what I've read, each block needs over 500 lux. Um, and if there's only 800 per square meter of floor space, that's then got to be divided by the height. So um, I might actually need to put another couple strips along the edges. Um, but for now, for now we'll go with this and, and see how we go. It was pretty hard to get locally. Um, these LED strips that I said in New Zealand, we don't have a lot of um, a lot of um, quality suppliers here, small country, only f 5 million odd people, um, so we don't quite have the selection like we have in America. So I, I'm actually bringing over a lot of stuff from America um, to use here. I've got some fans coming, um, some IP68 fans as well, so they're waterproof fans, which I'll use to, to, for the air exchange in here, so hopefully they're here this week. Fingers crossed. Here's a um, here's one of the LED strips I'm using here. Um, I think it's it should be one of the better quality ones. You can actually get multiple types of LEDs in them. This is a 5363 type LED or something along those lines. You get a lesser quality LED, which is like a 5050 LED, and it's slightly bigger. It's more of a square, and it produces less lumens per per wattage, I believe. These are about um, I think it was 14. I can't remember 14 watts per Per foot? Well, I can't remember if it's 14 watts per foot or per meter. Um, I will check on that though. But you can see you just cut along these lines here to however long you want it. And you actually solder in the connections on the positive and negative. If you haven't soldered before, it can be a bit fiddly. Um, I'm just making my way through it now. My soldering's not that great, but I'm getting it done. So this is just a little off cut piece here I've had. So I don't know what I'll stick to there. It may put it above the door. But you can see the two big strips I've got in here. And so they'll go down. I'm just making another couple. These will feed straight into the wall here, out to the controller. And I'll have another couple of strips down this little part here. Two for each side. So there's one, one on this side and one on this side. So one light beam will go that way and one will go that way.